my goodness, y'all. This is it. Hey, it's the closet tour video. Okay, check this out too, guys. This is a little bit of a disaster before we start filming. There will be two closets that I'm showing you guys today. My hype room closet, which is more like a storage, and then my personal bedroom closet. For months in the making now, I finally have my closet. Hey, we got the GoPro up in the top. Camera down. If you guys are new around here, make sure you go ahead, subscribe to the Blazing Fam. Hit that little join button down next to the subscribe. There's a link in the description below for mobile users. This is my closet door shoe rack. Thing. Bought at the container store for like five bucks. And as you guys can see, we have some matchy sneakers right here. The Gucci trainers. Honestly, these are like all my Gucci shoes. Then we got the Kobe's down here. Sneakers that I want to wear on the day to day. Asics, Tim's, Yeezy's. I just want to wear more of my collection and rotate out the pairs that I want to get worn. Ease of access. We have this Supreme stool. I have three total in my apartment. And besides the actual clothing that we still have to talk about, this right here is a pants drawer a lot of different styles of pants in here from jeans to like supreme pants babe stuff in here stone island a lot of supreme and babe these are some pants that i wear golfing and also some stuff like hats then we got this hat where's my propeller hat as you guys can see down here we also have tote bags. Then there's little babe cushions, Gucci scarf, a Burberry scarf, a Gucci scarf. Oh, there's like a Gucci wristband. I think we can now talk about some of the stuff up top. So at the back of the closet, I have the Supreme Louis Vuitton Parka. I'm not going to be going through every item in this closet. And I also have releasing my Supreme collection. All these collection videos I got to make. I'm just showing you guys highlights and some of my favorite pieces out of my closet that I own. This item is absolutely sick. Of course, I knew the resale value was going to go up. Oh, there's a dryer sheet. So it was definitely a great move buying this jacket. $4,000 when it dropped. I don't know why, but it wasn't selling for much. But now you can't find it. It seems like under 10 grand. So it's an investment piece. I also just wanted to show the sleeve, the North Face Nupsy collaboration with Extra Butter. And then from there, we have all the North Face Supreme jackets. So this is where Supreme starts to get hot and heavy. My favorite Nupsies out of everything that I own is probably the Mountain Ball Tour. Took an amazing Instagram photo in this. Definitely the green cheetah that Drake wore, the biny means, and the older Denali that came out. The uh, Supreme North Face Paisley set is a very difficult one nowadays to find. There's a lot of really awesome Supreme pieces that are released throughout the years. This piece right here, definitely a sleeper in my collection. This right here was one of Supreme's very expensive pieces this season. Completely leather varsity jacket on the back. It's got that beautiful scripted Supreme. And if you look very closely, you can see the different colors that come through in the leather. Box logos have been a big part of my collection since 2015, when I got my first ever box logo. So it's been about four years since I've been collecting them, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon because I think not only are they a great investment, sometimes, they're really collectible, and I'm a collector at heart. I've made it a little bit of a quest to get every single box logo in existence someday, but we gotta start somewhere. So these are all my box logos. I'm gonna pick out like a couple that are just like my favorite, just I can quickly talk about. This one right here, definitely would say is one of my favorites by far. And this was like the first box logo that I ever bought that went over $1,000. Figured I'd definitely have to show this one, the Swavorsky box logo. This one is definitely one of my new favorites. Hand stuck crystals from Swavorsky. I have all of them. I just hung up this first one just for the video because I plan to make a video about them. I wore this one on my birthday, 2006 royal blue on royal blue a lovely purple on black we also have the beautifully color-coded rainbow crew neck display it goes from the reds all the way down to this white one right here to mention a few of my favorites we have the recent baby blue on baby blue the amazing purple on purple and the screen printed teal on magenta 
This is then where the t-shirts start. This fun fact was the first box logo that was actually purchased over $500. Fun fact, this was my second box logo. I don't have my first one because I sold it. Did you know that Supreme, for their 20th anniversary, released special anniversary box logos that all have a little print on the back, just like this? This is in 1999. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you would have known that I sold Ugly God a bling box logo. The Maladkin. And now we have reached the section of Supreme items that are not box logos. We have a Supreme Champion hoodie from 2017. The 2018 Jellyfish Tee? Ghost Rider Raglan Tee. I actually made a really crazy video within a video about the Ghost Rider set. So if you guys are interested, click the little I card in the top right. Might be right there, actually. My brother Leo got me this. I don't know, it's pretty random. It released as the same week as this Ghost Rider tee as well. Shout out to Val for the Supreme Stone Island jacket, the Supreme Cursive logo hoodie. Now right here we have a lot of different brands, but they're all categorized. Off-White, Gucci, Stone Island, and Bape. So let's start with some of my favorite off-white pieces. There's a Statue of Liberty long sleeve, and my first piece of off-white that I ever purchased that was like super expensive from the store was this Galaxy crew neck that I got from the off-white store in New York. Then we have the off-white champion, just another off-white, off-white denim, my only piece of Givenchy. And then from here onward is Gucci. I've done a lot of Gucci stuff in the past, so nowadays I'm not really leaning towards Gucci anymore. I'm pretty much set for life. Yes, there will be fire releases, but I am not buying Gucci really at all like I used to. There's this like old vintage rock inspired one. One of the first pieces of Gucci that I ever bought was this sweater right here. Very interesting choice for it being one of my first pieces from Gucci, but <sighs> roast me, whatever. But I found this in the women's section and it needed to be for the men's. I think it's unisex, but it was just in the women's, but why? This jacket, I used to put this thing through the ringer. This was also one of my first pieces of Gucci. Then recently I started wearing this one. It comes with some matching pants that I also have in my dresser, which is just out in my bedroom. This right here was actually the first date outfit that I wore with my girlfriend. I still haven't worn this yet. I'm waiting for the opportunity for when I move to New York, but this is the most outrageous puffer I've ever bought. Definitely regret buying it. I don't think four grand is worth never wearing. Let me know if I should do a top 10 clothing regret purchases. I think I have a couple now that I've kind of perused through the closet. This one though, I would not return. This one is amazing. This is the Gucci New York pinstripe jacket. I've gotten a lot of compliments on this. So as you guys can see, we are on the lower rack, my 10th anniversary Bape Shark. This one that I got from my website, BapeBoys.com. This baby Milo, I got every single Naruto Bape piece. This one goes crazy, it's got rhinestones on it. For the first time in my life, I got something for free from Bape. They gave me this when I was doing a Bape and PUBG mobile live stream. So it wasn't technically Bape, it was PUBG. And this isn't even sponsored, I'm just telling you. That was pretty cool, I will have to admit. And I know some of y'all are gonna be asking, oh, do you show love to Dragon Ball, of course. I haven't watched as much Dragon Ball as I have Naruto, not even close. This was like the first piece of Bape that I bought at the Bape store ever in New York. This is a champion Bape head on the back. I'm on my 2003 Lil Wayne vibes. Vintage Bape is really fire. This is the coming soon New York tape. It was before the New York store. And how could I forget, this is the back to the future. I mean, I called it Bape to the future. They really should have put Bape to the future, but whatever. This thing was like the forefront of my Nike mag display in my old, old room setup. When I first got them, I used to hang the shirt over the box. We have finished one closet. Let's go to the next one. As you guys can see, this is the second closet and it's actually a lot bigger than my bedroom closet. The biggest downside to this is the fact that I couldn't make this my master bedroom because it doesn't have a bathroom attached to it. This is kind of like my storage, but I can't exactly call it storage because I have a storage unit. So it's more so like my stocking room, if that makes sense. Second closet, clothes I wear more so on like the day to day, cause all these clothes are not really that expensive. They're stuff you could probably find at your local stores, uh, with the exception of some of them, but for the most part, they're available in stores. They're not like sold out or there's not really a high demand for this stuff. I'd probably even go as far as to say all the clothes that are on this rack can't 
can't be more than like 200 bucks. So like the most expensive thing I'll have is probably a $200 jacket. Let's talk about the floor. So as you guys can see, this is a bin full of Supreme unopened. This is all for my Supreme in real life series. This is storage. This is like storage and shoes that I plan to sell. Storage, shoes I plan to sell. These are my shoes and I'll hit some of them real quick. Up there is just more storage for stuff on the top, more storage and just some bags and jackets and stuff that I'm not currently using. So the shoes, let's talk about some of them. All these up here are from All-Star Weekend. They're just extra. And these are like the Travis Scott Air Jordan 32s, 31. I, don't, I can't even keep track of the new stuff anymore. These are cool. I am gonna show these. Vintage Jordan style box, the Nostalgia 9s. 350 Sesame, the 700 Caterpillar Mobs. I can't recognize the color. Some Froyo yellows, pretty cool Air Maxes. Those are the Supreme chairs, and if you guys watched Supreme in real life, you would have seen all that stuff. So let's talk about the stuff that's on these racks. I have all of the Astroworld merch that I could get my hands on that was released online, and a couple exclusive ones that came out at concerts. This is another specialty Astroworld. Luckily, I just found it at a store. I have like a lot of artist merch. Maybe you guys would be interested in seeing a video on it. This is like the Wizard. This is Future's merch that he did when he dropped his album. Travis Scott's merch is so cool looking. And we have Future merch. Future merch. Stone Cold Steve Austin vintage. There's actually a lot of my vintage stuff in here as well. Venom is one of my favorite villains. He's just so evil. Oh, this has got to be one of the best Lil Wayne tees. Six foot, seven foot, G line. My boy Sneakerhead in the Bays brand, vintage Lakers shirt. I'm definitely thinking now about doing an artist merch collection because I just thought about how much Kanye stuff I have. Wow. This isn't a sponsor or anything, but I will say Kith had a very, very cool idea of taking old shirts and just throwing their logo on it and then selling them because this Pink Floyd shirt is vintage and I wouldn't have been able to find it if it wasn't at a Kith. Yo, I know how much people love In-N-Out, so I am going to put it on the spot. Oof, Playboy Cardi merch. I am definitely making a video i'm not showing that cereal and kith collab kith is a great brand overall fragment pokemon all right last artist one just because this one is great lil wayne in his promo video for the carter five said wiki me bish so they made a wikipedia shirt damn i said i would not show any more artists and you're not i know people are gonna be asking where's the guess uh, i got it and let's see these are like some heavier hoodies oh, a lot of this stuff is actually kith and i also have some supreme stuff in here but stuff i felt like that wasn't great enough to be in my like, closet in my room this is a signed victor cruz jacket and here's that uh 200 dollars kith jacket i was talking about guys i hope that is going to do it for you in this video today i really hope you enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching have a great night day Whenever you're watching, it's Blazonary, I'm out. Stay positive, and I'll catch you guys on my newest video this Saturday. Smash the like on this video if you guys are excited for this Saturday because we have a mystery box releasing.